guys and welcome back to violent privilege and today I'm gonna to be doing one of your request videos you guys requested me to show you how I got my black spindle and I'm not sure if you wanted a tutorial but this is gonna be a tutorial on how I got my black spindle and basically on the daily there will be a daily mission that pops up and then you're able to actually go and do a whole nother route that routes gonna get you to your black spindle now, before you do that, you're going to have to go through the normal story and you're going to have to do the mission as as is. So, what you're just going to do is you're going to run through all the enemies and then you're going to get to the room with the oak. And you'll just follow the route that we're taking. Now, for this mission, I would recommend you guys having a good shotgun, a really good primary that's good at killing things, and a really good sword. And I'm going to get to that momentarily. Also, please be a light level of 295 and up because this mission is ridiculous. Other than that, once you get to the ogre, kill him as quickly as possible so not too many ads spawn. Because if he stays alive long enough, there's wizards, there's acolytes everywhere, there's thralls everywhere, there's knights, rumors. It's just a whole big mess that you guys don't it's even want to deal with. I think Once the ogre's dead, ogre. the mission is going to go into the Not whole, the oh, mission's over type ogre. scenario. Unless you guys are going to grab a shard taken. out of the crystal How that's left, I need and you guys are going to bring it to that smoky wall that formed behind you when you came into the room. Now, this smoky wall is basically the, the supposable end mission. It's going to say mission complete. Sword. But that wall is going to come down and you're actually not going to have the mission complete. It's actually going to be a mission continue. And you guys are going to run back through a whole bunch of enemies. Now, I'm going to fast forward through that so you guys don't have to see a whole entire gameplay. But I'll let you fast forward to that and you guys can watch us run. Okay guys, so I just opened up that door. That door took a relic to open up. You'll get to a second door, and then that second door, once it's opened, you'll get to a third door. The third door, you don't even have to worry about. Just bypass the third door, and then you're gonna go up a hill, and it's going to say, fall in distress signal. And at that point, that's when the mission is going to begin. You're going to go up into a teleporter, rift, elevator thing right there into a ship. This is where the really big pain in the ass begins and I'm going to say that with all due respect because this mission actually gets pretty difficult. Once you go into the first room with enemies, your timer begins. You have 10 minutes to clear through this entire thing. Now, what do I mean by clear is I mean in every single room, the door is not going to open up to progress until every enemy is killed. Once every enemy is killed, you're going to progress on into the next room. After which, you get to the final room, which is going to have a boss and a bunch of blights that are going to spawn in a bunch of enemies. Now, the only way to get this mission cleared is to kill everything. You have to kill all the Taken, which means you have to kill the boss, you have to kill all the adds and all the blights so they don't spawn any more adds within 10 minutes after clearing every single room. So make sure you have your sword, your shotgun, and a really good primary. And also having a self-res warlock is a good thing. Also having titan bubbles are a good thing and storm collar warlocks to take out adds. This is a really good scenario. Not saying that everybody's gonna have the best scenario, but you are gonna have to make do with time because time is on the essence and it's very, very important to kill things as quickly as possible. Now, if all three of you go and attack the boss all at once, that's your best bet. Taking out the boss first is really, really key 
Once the boss is dead, you can go around the room, use a Stormcaller Warlock or anything that you have, like a sword or a shotgun, and take out all the adds while taking out the blights. If you guys take out the blights, you should be pretty good, because after the boss is dead, you may have one to three minutes left, kind of roughly in between there is the average, and that gives you enough time to kill the adds with three fire team members. Now, there is a way to solo this, and I will get into that in another video, but not in this one because it's kind of difficult, and the fact of the matter is, is I'm not going to explain how to solo it until you guys manage to get the Black Spindle with a team, because if you guys can't get it with a team, then it's going to be really hard to solo it. Now, once again, make sure that you guys are 295 light or above, because if you aren't, it's going to be very difficult. If you are 300 and something above, awesome, that's great, because the boss is kind of averaged around 290 and up. Now, once the boss is dead, you get to clear out all the ads. As you can see, the clock is, de uh, is definitely counting down on my screen. We've got 30, 20, 15, 10, then it gets down to 5, 4, 3, Taken, one not zero rest. mission we'll complete. That is the biggest clutch on my channel yet, and I'm glad to show you guys that. You all asked me to yes. show you how I got my black spindle, and that's exactly how I got my first black spindle. It was by clutch and by pure willpower to survive and destroy all the enemies on time. Now, the black spindle went to my postmaster, so we're going to go back to the tower and we're going to show you that. So I'm going to go to the vault, I'm going to drop off two of my special weapons, and then I'm going to pull the black spindle out of my postmaster. But other than that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope the tutorial helped, and also, like always, guys, please like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel for future content. And, all, and always, this is Hunter from Violent Privilege, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks again, guys. Sponsored by Syfax Industries.